Dear friends, today is the moment of truth, a rite of passage, the handover of ancient habit. Today, we're going to show you how we do it. If you came to this tutorial to find out how to capture the screenshot of your iOS mobile device, today, we will not disappoint you. There are ways and ways of making a screen capture in iOS 7, from using another iPhone to get the screen off the first one using great, paid apps that blitz your screen like a pro in Olympic season. They all, however, use a single technology, and that is AirPlay. AirPlay was introduced by Apple with iOS 6, and it allows devices to stream HD data and video via a combination of wireless and Bluetooth, something though impossible until then, and something that made the late Mr. Jobs very proud of. This technology is used today in Apple TV, iPhones, iPads, and finally in the upgraded line of MacBook Pro and Air. For the accuracy of results and for the friendliness of use, we have chosen Reflector as our app of choice for streaming the screen of iOS 7 to a MacBook nearby. So this is what we do usually. Activate both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and connect to our internal Wi-Fi network. Open up Reflector on our MacBook and let it run in the background. Swipe up to invoke the control center and turn on both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on the iPhone. By now, devices have started to communicate and you have an AirPlay option with the name of your Mac near the AirDrop feature. Turn it on to define its AirPlay parameters. Tap the computer name, in our case, Howtech, and switch to activate mirroring so the other device can see what you are doing. As you can see, you can connect even an Apple TV with the system. Tap Done and swipe down to hide the control center. From now on, the contents of your iPhone is streaming instantly to Reflector. Go back to the Mac, switch to the Reflector application and customize it the way you like. Once set, choose Start Recording from the menu or hit Command-R. Folks, this is how we do it. Once you've got enough of your screen, you can stop recording with the same menu or keystroke. A nice crisp move file is offered for you to save out. Congratulations, you have officially learned how to do a how-to. Join the fun. This was a how-tech tutorial. Like us on Facebook, love us forever, or leave us a comment here in the fields below. Thanks for watching.